what any big one welcome or welcome back to my channel i hope that you're all doing okay today's video is a short little video and it is what is in my uni bag so i've done what is in my placement bag this is on the flip side and this is a bag that i actually bring with me when i go into my university lectures there aren't much in there but the things that are in there are of course essentials most of our lectures are done from home they are on a virtual environment but on the off chance that we do go into university this is the bag that i will bring with me so i think you've seen this bag before on this channel it is one from d k and y i actually couldn't find it anywhere when i had a little look i did get this as a birthday present but it's brilliant it is waterproof it holds everything and it's super comfy because it's got all of this like padding on the back so it is a bloody good backpack let me tell you so actually i'm just gonna start off with this bottom bit there's like not much in here so in here i literally have if i get them out without dropping them everywhere i have an array of sharpies loads of different colours of Sharpies just for colouring in and then I also have some plasters so I have a Profin Paracetamol just some little scraps in there normally at the sides I don't have it in right now but I will have a deodorant I'll also have my blue inhaler maybe like a spray of some sort uh oh I've got my blue inhaler on this side and some hand cream but I will normally have some like hand sanitizer and things like that as well just for quick and easy reach I'll also put my, my water bottle in one of the sides it's just quicker than having to faff around in the actual main bag I like having them at the sides because it's just easy access something that I haven't got in here right now but I will bring is a packed lunch so depending on how long I'm in university sometimes we finish at 12 and if that's the case then I would just come home and eat but if we finish at half three we do have a lunch break so it varies what I bring I tend to bring some kind of like sandwiches or wraps or I'll get a meal deal but I'll pop that in my my bag um just so that i'm not carrying around food opening it up this is what it looks like without it all falling out first thing we've got is a pencil case now i think this pencil case was literally from bnm home bargain something like that but i think it's really cute oh no actually i take that back i think this is from the range um but yeah you can see it's jam-packed full of all my pens and pencils the thing i would say is to have an array of pens and pencils and highlighters if you're like me and you like using lots of different colors so next thing is a little medicines bag now you will have seen this probably on my placement bag as well i tend to take this everywhere with me now this just has more medications than what was just in my little front pocket so we've got plasters we have got anti-sickness we have got buscapan we've got ibuprofen paracetamol soothers just a little medicines bag really really important i mean i always have a little medicines collection whenever i go anywhere just in case i think it's good to be prepared so having a little medicine bag very very important next is my organizer to-do list now i've talked about this a lot this is how i stay sane having a list a day so i literally write down everything in here that i need to do and then i highlight it when it's done it's just so so satisfying highlighting it off so i do bring this in with me to uni just in case they mention anything else that we need to do and i like to know what i'm going to do for the rest of the day um so i always bring this with me it just is that a quick reference of what i need to do for the rest of the day and this i definitely got from this was definitely B&M or Home Bargains. I don't know if they have the exact one anymore, but they will definitely have something similar. I would definitely recommend getting something like this, not even just for the degree, but for everyday life. I've got all sorts in here and it definitely helps keep my head on straight. So next we have actually just finished our anatomy and physiology module, thank God. But all my in-person lectures that weren't clinical skills were on the anatomy and physiology module. So I did bring a book in that corresponds to the module that I'm learning. And um, I just found this good just to kind of have it sometimes open on my desk as to what we're learning. Just if I wanted to do any further reading or if the lecture didn't make sense, I could just do some extra reading on this. Uh, it's just a quick reference. It is a really, really good book. I mentioned this in my 10 books recommended for a midwifery degree and it still sticks the same i would definitely 100 percent recommend getting this book next is you know a bit boring a notebook so this is the oxford campus notebook as you can see there's hardly any pages left because they're all in my anatomy and physiology folder you'll see in the weekly vlog i'm currently filming i'll show you my folder and it is you could literally make a book out of all of my notes it is crazy if you saw my video all about how i take notes you'll know that i don't tend to write my notes in full in my lectures there just tends to be too much going on the powerpoint moves too quick the lecturers talk too fast 
it's just all a very stressful experience. So I tend to just write down any key points, anything that is said that is not on the PowerPoint, I'll write those down in here. And then when I get home, I write up all my notes in neat. So you will have also seen that on my How I Take My Notes video as well. But one of these is always very handy to have around. As an alternative, you can have a smaller notebook um, if that's better for you, if that fits in your bag better. But just any kind of notebook is really important to bring with you to your lectures. Next. Just got a body spray but to be honest this actually has to be one of my favorite body sprays i have to say that so have come a long way since i was an awkward teenager or constantly wearing their body sprays this literally smells amazing this is the truffle cream which is white chocolate and coconut flour it smells divine but i always have like a little spray or just something in there as a little shush up I then have my glasses, which I probably should wear a lot more than I do, but I struggle when I'm looking at the boards and like, like that kind of screen type thing. So these are really handy as well when I am going into uni. Then I also have my diary and now I'm in desperate need of a new diary. This was chewed ages ago by the dog, um, but you know, it's a bloody good diary. I just need to buy another one and I don't have the 2022 diaries out yet, I don't think. So I always have one of these. It has all my lectures, placement shifts, anything that's not to do with uni as well. I literally live by diaries, planners, organisers. That is how I keep saying. So I always have these in my bag in case anything crops up. They mention an exam, an essay due, something like that so that I can quickly note it down in my diary or I can check if anything conflicts with, you know, anything else that I have on already. That is everything that is officially in my bag. I do sometimes bring my laptop. It does depend. And when I go in for my clinical skills, I do sometimes pack a bit lighter. I don't need my textbook or anything like that. The one thing that I do normally bring is like a little folder or a plastic wallet in case we get random pieces of paper they don't end up scrunched in my pocket I can pop them in a nice plastic wallet but that is pretty much what I bring with me to uni like I said there's always food and water as well I do try and pack like there's not a lot that you actually need to bring when you go into university uh, a lot of it is already there so yeah I hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up leave me a comment below if you have any future videos that you would like to see me do also, don't forget that I have the giveaway, which is a £50 paper chase voucher, and that is over on my midwifery Instagram. The link is in the description bar below to my Instagram, so make sure that you go and check that out and get your entries in. The winner will be announced on Sunday, the 27th of June, so you've still got a bit of time to get your entries in. But also make sure that you click on that subscribe button if you are not already, and click on the little bell next to it, which will notify you whenever I upload. For the month of June, I am doing triple uploads, so every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, all at 7 p.m. UK time, you will be able to see this lovely face on your screens with a brand new video. So make sure that you are staying tuned with my channel and keeping up to date with all of the extra uploads. But on that note, I hope you all have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, whenever you're watching this video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys.